my tail light broke, so now I gotta fix it. So this is gonna be the process of me trying to be handy and fixing the thing. Now it's time to try to figure out how to put this on. Mini Cooper uh, doesn't make the covers, it's all one piece. So uh, I gotta figure out how to take those off and put this on. So here we go. All right, so so far it's not too bad. Had to pull these off, which is pretty simple. Take off four 10 millimeter bolts, and now we just gotta push it out. Before we tighten it up, we're going to close that. Kind of a cool little trick um, that Ben just taught me. Put that on, and if it doesn't quite fit, just stick it in there and it'll still catch. So those are all pretty much hand tied by me means if I go any tighter I'll probably break it. So that looks pretty sweet. Yeah that's gonna look a lot sleeker I think. Look a lot better. Alright cool next one. Put the little covers back on and one down. One side fixed. So forget working on the Mini Cooper motor. There's no other side to get into. This is actually pretty easy. They got one piece of the car, easy to work on. So which do you think? We got a 50-50 chance. Yeah, not too bad with gas. The only thing I would change about the little glass is sometimes I lose that 30-minute job will turn into an all-bear. Yeah.
And that is that. That's taking the old ones out, taking the panels off, taking the bolts off, which there's four bolts, so it's not too bad. Um, there's two clips for the electronics. Once you figure out those and get those right, you only got two options, so it's not too bad. You're 50% right right off the bat, so that's a good thing. Um, you get that put together, test them, make sure it's right, screw them back in, put the panels back on, and you are done. So that's it, not too bad. And hey, as always, train hard, train smart, and be the best you can be.